Well, I thought the uh, festive period can get a lot better after the matches we saw on Boxing Day. Not only did Tottenham hammer Fulham 5-1, but we also saw a fantastic match from Chelsea and Aston Villa, which ended 4 all with a whole host of red cards showing throughout the game. But Tottenham and Reading went all out on Saturday to smash that with a 10-goal belter at White Hart Lane. The first half um, was dominated much by uh, Tottenham, who in form seemed to control a lot of the play. We had a sublime Dimitar Berbatov goal after just seven minutes. Um, but Reading weren't going to take a hit. They wanted to fight for it and they played really well. First half ended one all. Uh, then in the second half, we saw eight goals within 30 minutes. Um, at one point it seemed like every action on the ball was going to end in a goal. The game ended 6-4 to Tottenham. Those six goals take Tottenham's Premier League tally up to 41, uh, making them the top goal scorers in the league. Sadly for Reading, um, who played really well on Saturday, this was the second game of their season, which saw them take four goals away from home, still managed to win. They had a similar situation at Portsmouth, which ended 7-4 in uh, September. My man of the match would be a really obvious one, Dimitar Berbatov. Um, he scored four of Tottenham six on Saturday and looked fantastic on the ball throughout. He's truly an exceptional player and we're seeing him come back to some of his best. He actually doubled his goal scoring tally on, on Saturday, um, so it's actually surprising to hear that he'd only had, to think he'd only had uh, four goals before then, seeing the form he was on on Saturday. And while I'm talking about Berbatov, uh, transfer window opens in just a few hours and the speculation around the Bulgarian hitman is growing. Word from White Hart Lane is that no key players will be allowed to leave during this transfer window and Daniel Levy is insisting that Berbatov will stay. However, Berbatov's agent seems to have different ideas and he's expecting to consider some good offers in the couple of, next couple of weeks. Clubs who we might expect to put in an offer for our um, key striker would be Manchester United, who we know are keen to see the Bulgarian pull on a red shirt, and also maybe Chelsea as well. Let's hope Daniel Levy keeps his word and uh, doesn't get tempted by some of those big offers. At the moment, I think Tottenham would be crazy to sell a player like Berbatov. We're only 12th in the league at the moment. We've had a whole host of problems this season and Berbatov is one of those players that Tottenham should be building a future around, uh, growing a club around, not just cashing in on the earliest opportunity. Right, well, as always, we want to hear from you. Um, leave us a comment and let us know what you thought of Saturday's game. Are we seeing Tottenham coming back to their best? And also let us know what you think about the specul transfer speculation around Dimitar Berbatov. What are your thoughts? Should he go? Should he stay? Would we be wise to cash in? Or should we be clinging on to him for dear life? And post us um, a comment about Aston Villa on New Year's Day. We are, we'll bring you team news as we get it for that match. And also we'll give you updates of the action afterwards as well. So log on, keep an eye out for that. And we'll speak to you soon.